The Unifier has detected an intrusion. Spread out. It will be contained by, by her, her will. will. Move! There's too many of them. In the hole! Jump! The Unifier? I don't get why you jumped after the kid back then. Top 10 dumbest things I ever saw you do. You should have seen how worried he was. Hey, Star Pants was our ticket with the captain. I was worried his death would lead to more jail time. It was adorable. I hate you all. They're gonna figure it out. They will. Okay, Groot. I think I know my way around. We just need to get into the tunnels on the other side there. I am Groot. Thank you, Groot. Pretty sure this is right. Pretty sure? Everything was on fire last time. I couldn't make that happen. No, no. Rocket, no! <laughs> Ain't that a piece of the Unifier's old ship? Unifier. Yeah, whatever. When we were arrested, they mentioned Raker got caught for the same thing we did. Not exactly the same. He got caught scavenging in the quarantine zone. How is that not the same? We were not scavenging for the same thing. The distinction could be important. Nikki mentioned something about fishing for a god, I think. What kind of deity inhabits the quarantine zone? The kind that should probably stay quarantined. That guy's super fishy, man. We need to be on the lookout for him. He's probably the big baddie responsible for everything happening here. I did not realize you and the girl fell down so far, Peter Quill. I didn't fall. I jumped. Oh. Hey, this is... it's gone. It's messed up. Gamora, any chance you can help us here? I got this, Peter. One more time, Groot. Let's go find Corel and Nikki. I am Groot. All right. So, we all agree that the captain and her kid are probably dead, right? Corel survived the worst of the war. And a relationship with Peter. Hey. Still willing to bet they didn't survive this. You'd wager on whether or not a mother and child are dead. What if only one is dead? You don't think this is slightly inappropriate given Peter's history? We're not betting on this. Because you know you'd lose. Because it's not appropriate. How's it not appropriate? Because Peter Quill is not emotionally equipped to deal with death. Okay, A, we're all too broke to bet. B, I am super emotionally equipped. And C, they're not dead! Yeah. Why would you talk about that, Rocket? Like, it's like you want them to be dead. Come on, man. Don't be like that. But they don't know that Nikki could be my kid. Maybe that's why. Hey. Hey. This is where we saw the, the skin careful, last time. There, Peter Quill. Yeah. Definitely a lot sparkier than last time. Uh, make sure the kid ain't floating face up somewhere. Rocket! What? Exhaust all options! I feel like that's a little bit too mean even for you, Rocket. That'll work. Yeah, where was that? It was right behind here. What do you say, Gamora? Now that the floor can't kill us? I say, no problem. Well, definitely no sign of Nikki or Corel. I mean, I guess that's good news. Nova Core cosplay. Let's go, guys. Whoa, watch out! Whoa. You okay? I am Groot. Groot says we should start thinking about exit plans. I am the exit plan is to call Cosmo after we get the answers we need. Answers you need, maybe. Without Cosmo, we're not getting out of here. Oh! Hey! How are you doing? Don't suppose you've seen Nikki. I'm sorry, what? Are you feeling okay, Peter? It's one of Nikki's robots. She gives them names and takes care of them or whatever. He does not look taken care of to me. Something bad happened here. It's... Several unauthorized upgrades and modifications detected. Probably from Nikki. It does not strike me as very safe here, Peter Quill. Better this than getting shot at. Eh, speak for yourself. You'd rather get shot at? More fulfilling to shoot someone I don't like than look for someone I don't care about. Our leader seems to care, and so we should also pretend to care. <laughs> <sighs> of course you would. It's not about caring, it's about finding the answers. Because we were told to by Cosmo. But also because Corel and Nikki. 
But that's a secondary thing. Technically. Well, I can disguise it as a secondary thing. Alright, guys. Here we go. Whoa. Careful, Peter Quill. Okay, don't remember this green gas being here last time. I think you mean deadly green gas. This whole ship's a death trap now. I'm sure there's a way to unburst these pipes. There better be, because there's no way I'm walking through that. What about your magical ice weapon, Peter Quill? Oh, or does that mean danger? Contemplating the intoxicating stench of death. Uh, good idea. Glorious. <sighs> there, freezy peasy. Okay, that was bad, even for you. <laughs> I thought we were gonna make like toxic ice pillars, but no, we're just shutting off the pipes. Ah, uh, more death gas. Maybe Nikki and Corral are using it to protect themselves. Or, and hear me out on this, maybe they're dead. You know what, man? You're being a real jackass, like, way more than usual. The tension is palpable. Oh, can you both please just get over this? Agreed. Either resolve your issues or fight to the death. Hey, I ain't the one who keeps sabotaging this team. You're the one who quit. Out of frustration with Quill's lack of leading-like qualities. All I know is I'm not the one who quit the team. I quit because I care. I care too, man, okay? So maybe we both just have shitty ways of showing we care. Really shitty. Yeah, maybe. I know we're tight, but like, the way Rocket keeps saying that they're dead is really... I know they don't know that Nikki might be my daughter, Dog but still. Item. The rumbling continues. Poor Contraxia. What is going on here? I can't even... Malfunctioning door. High security hydraulic hatchway. Use network to open. Network. Well, it's not electricity or freezing it, but I want that. Maybe we gotta go around. If we go to Nikki's hideout, then we can see her place. Because last time she didn't let me in. Are you sure this is the right way, Peter Quill? <laughs> it's clearly not. I'm investigating. Remember how Nikki got mad at me for every single wrong turn I took before? Every single one. Gamora, if you would please. Actually. You're magic, Groot. You're the wrong guy. Alright, Drax. You know what to do. No. Thinking something, Rocket? As if. Yeah, I know. You never think of anything. Could you cut it, Gamora? Will do. Thank you, girl. You sure this is the right way? Just keep your eyes open. You know, Peter, if Nikki and Corel really are... They're not. I'm just saying we should be ready for anything. They're not. I'm not ready. I'm not ready to hear that. Ice pillars? ideas on what the oversized vacuum's actually doing to Contraxia? A few. None of them good. It's taking its energy, its planetary energy, somehow. Did you find a dog report item? No, nothing dog report worthy. And still no signs of Nikki or Corel. In the face of death's infinite mystery, Contathians are taught to focus on what is tangible. I'll keep that in mind. Thank you, Groot, for coming to greet me. Everyone else is just waiting back there. I think he did a little wave just now, too. That was cute. Hey, guys, I'm back. Just chilling out, looking at whatever. Here. This is definitely the right way. These markings suggest otherwise. Nikki's secret hideout is just through here. Thought we were going to the captain's office. We are. Right after we check here. This is the only way we know how to go. 
Try not to break anything. This place means a lot to her. Oh, wow. Didn't Nikki paint all this? Pretty cool, right? Nikki? Little one, reveal yourself. Maybe try being a little less scary. It's Peter! The... the, the pirate? <laughs> Nikki! We do not intend to kill you. We need to get into that room. Did she add me? I wonder if she added me anywhere. Ugh, it grumbles more incessantly than a Catathian without breakfast. We really need to get you something to eat. Nikki's it's really cakes. small, right? And really clever. Right. So maybe she's got a secret way in. Hmm. We don't want to go here yet? We want to go to her hideout. That's like her actual... Yeah, it's closed off now. Ooh. What about your magical mask? Or magical weapon? Or some other form of magic? Yes, yes. <laughs> oh. Sorry, Rocket. <laughs> Looks like you're up again. Or... Two for two. <laughs> Thank you, Nikki's passkey. I don't even need that. Yeah, we have the passkey. Whoa. <sighs> Careful, Peter Quill. In my experience, children often booby trap their toys. It's not Nikki's, it's mine. So we're just claiming our stuff now? Because if we are... No, I mean it literally used to belong <laughs> to me. Uh, Quill, you gotta see this. This kid's obsessed with you. Wait, why does she have your toy? It's just something I gave to Corel when we were together during the war, like a keepsake. It doesn't mean anything. Does, uh, this mean anything? How old is the child? Oh my god. Twelve. Ha! Congratulations, Peter Quill! You will make a terrible father. <laughs> Unless the child is dead, in which case, it does not matter. Well, wait, is this why you dragged us here? Clearly. The child is twelve. And Quill was with the child's mother 12 years ago. The math is irrefutable. Did you know? I just figured you didn't and want to tell us. His bewildered silence suggests he did not. My reaction to the news of Hovat's insemination was the same. Yes, okay. Whoa. So the dates maybe kind of match up, so it's possible, I guess. It's not like they had a health class on this. Inspiring. Can we just focus on if Corell and Nikki are okay? They're clearly not here, so let's... Move on and keep looking. Was that a bug? Did you see Peter's eyes were like pink for a second? It scared me. Anyone else feel weird going through Nikki's stuff like this? Yeah, it's weird. It's weird. So many thoughts. Cadet Gold. Could that really be him? Not at all what I was expecting. Is that good or bad? He's not like other adults. I mean, sort of? But he's also kind of a big dumb kid. He thought my art was cool. Do all Terrans dress like that? And if so, why? She says I should forget we ever met, which is all the more reason to keep digging. In her transmission to me that was disrupted, she was definitely saying, are you really my dad? I'm pretty sure. Peter Quill is her father. It is his duty to pry into her personal life. Not true. She ain't here, Quill. I think he's still processing. Uh, are we gonna ignore this person right here? Still can't get over how good she is with all this tech stuff. Meh, I could do better. Yeah, but she's 12. Yeah. So, I'm 15. <laughs> Staring at it ain't gonna change what it says. It doesn't say anything. It's just some confused kid projecting stuff. Just some confused kid? That is no way to talk about your daughter. Peter clearly be already believed that Nikki was his daughter, though. I don't know why he's trying to deny it like this, because if he didn't, he wouldn't have jumped after her like that, right? But in front of the others, he's still very hesitant about wanting to accept it. One thing to know it, one thing to say it out loud and really just accept that it's true. Guess Nikki wasn't much of a Skrull fan. Name someone who is a Skrull fan. <laughs> Good point. What is a Skrull? 
Gamora, did you want one of these dolls? I feel like we saw that guy, the yellow guy there, in one of the UFO catchers. One of them it is a discouraging thought indeed. Oh, now I'm starting to feel the rumbling, yeah, a little bit. For all we know, maybe this guy's her dad. Yeesh. Looks like an even bigger deadbeat than you. Looks like Ronan the Accuser to me. Indeed. All I'm saying is clearly I'm not the only candidate. Deadbeat Ronan guy also fits the bill. The rumbling is very, very subtle. Which I guess is a good thing. Huh. Not a bad workbench. For a kid. I'm thinking Nikki won't mind if we use this. What do you say, Rocket? I say I don't care even if she does mind. Don't be like that. That's why you're not a parent. <laughs> I don't think I have enough for anything, though. Knockdown dash. Avoid falling prone by dashing when hit with a knockdown blow. Okay. Doing. Doing. Done. Okay, where were we? Congratulating you on being a father. Can we not? I haven't processed this yet. We don't talk about it, okay? Mint condition. I've seen this before. It used to belong to Corel. So the kid's a thief too. Or Corel passed it on to her. I can confirm that parents often leave things to their spawn. Thank you, Drax. That's my eternal response to like literally everything he says. <laughs> it's always suitable. Should be a way to Corel's office through those pipes on the left. Yeah, I see an opening. Could be there's a latch on the inside. Allow me, Star Dad. <laughs> I, I get it. <laughs> Guys, could we not make light of all this? We still don't know if they're okay. I am capable of feeling concerned while still laughing at you, Peter Quill. Ditto. <laughs> that was probably for opening the hideout then, which we didn't need because we had the pass key. Got to admit it, Quill. Kid's whole setup is pretty impressive. The way she rigged her terminal to the emergency power grid. I told you, she's a smart kid. Perhaps Peter Quill did not sire this child after all. Yeah, I could see that. She just don't seem dopey enough. Maybe she gets everything from the mother's side. Yes, she should have exhibited at least some foolishness. Maybe it's a trait that kicks in later. Okay, Drax is clearly on to something, so let's <laughs> all just go with that. That Nikki is too smart to be your daughter. Whatever it takes to get out of this. You're really gonna be one of those dads? No, that's not what I... I don't know. Point is, none of us know. Corel didn't tell me. She didn't tell me anything. Urgent quarantine warning, Zandarian world mine. We are sending this message to every Nova Core helmet, terminal, and personal device to ensure every corpsman is informed. Please do your part to spread the message. The recent events on Hala's Hope and the Rock Station have led us to quarantine both vessels. Contact with those recently stationed at either is strictly forbidden. Do not accept their communications, distress beacons, or direct pleas for help until we have properly assessed the situation. We believe a psychological attack has been launched upon Nova Corps, but we do not yet understand the delivery method. It is not clear if it can be spread person to person, but we do know it spreads rapidly. For the time being, we need to isolate ourselves to prevent further infection. Well, however it spreads, we're not getting it. None of us are getting it. Dog report item. The strange device continues to do whatever it is doing. Thanks for the update, Drax. You don't know that. Is it because we're hearing it in the background? Yeah, you can kind of hear it. That's the elevator I took with Corel and Nikki. If we're lucky, maybe they're on their way down right now. When have we ever been lucky? It's too quiet. Oh, shiz! So much for your girlfriend meeting us! It did seem like that. Ah! All I know is I am really starting to hate this elevator. Different shields! So was this a coincidence, or did they know we were coming? Of course they knew! We ain't exactly been this great! <laughs> That's true. To the bow! Took down one of the Nova Corps nut jobs! Nice! Sick punches. 
Everyone okay? Anyone hurt? What? Are you gonna start being all paternal now? We're fine, Peter. We know how to fight. I know. I, I just... We'll find them. Don't worry. You said Corral's office was up top somewhere? Yeah. Just need to make our way up. I worry. The whole thing is just a little bit too weird. Wait, which way do we come from? I have been thinking. It is customary on Katath to bathe new fathers in a river of blood. Lucky for Peter we're not on Katath. I don't know, it could be... It could be fun. More deadly gas! New experiences. Oh yeah, he's definitely stalling. What do you expect? He's got the emotional maturity of a two-year-old. Are you speaking of Peter Quill? Obviously. I'll have you know, I am super emotionally mature. More than Rocket. Thank you very much. This type Look of the banter. Side. Longer it takes to find them, longer we can pretend they're okay. Oh Comforting. my god. Shouldn't you be focused on figuring out what's inside those batteries? Quietly? Nah, I tend to think better when I'm mouthing off. If that were true, you would have solved all the mysteries of the galaxy by now. Hey, who says I ain't? This kind of banter, it's okay if we're like normally. If it's normal circumstances, but if we're trying to look for our daughter and possibly dead ex-girlfriend and all that, then... Someone's gonna blow a gasket. Yeah, so... I am a little bit worried about Peter. Next stop, Corel's office. I think he's a little bit more patient than Rocket, though. Rocket is just, like, no patience. Come on, just admit it, Quill. You're freaking out right now. Oh my gosh. This whole deadbeat dad thing's gotta be eating at you. Some need many years to fully comprehend their paternal responsibility. Some never do. The prospect of maybe being a dad is... a little scary. A little? Embrace the panic, Peter Quill. It is the essence of fatherhood. Nobody's born ready. Well, that don't look good. There was a struggle here. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm reacting to? I am reacting in my own way. This doesn't look good, Peter. All we know is that there was a fight. We don't know who won. Pretty sure I know. So, where's this office, Quill? It's around here somewhere. Place wasn't this messed up last time. When in doubt, follow the stench of death. I don't want to hear that, man. Even after they realize, oh, okay, maybe this is Peter Quill's daughter, and <laughs> they're still saying... Maybe we should <laughs> just ask someone for directions? Hey, I'm capable of asking for help. Help me be done with this stupid mission. There, see? Thanks, Drax. Need every little bit we can get. Alright, let's get going. realized something. Nikki's a tech expert, knows her way around ships, fits into small spaces. Don't you dare finish that sentence. And she seems to get along well with Peter. <laughs> Good luck replacing me with a dead kid. Wow. Hey, if we have Nikki hold our guns, maybe we can confirm if she's our kid or not. Because my current theory is that the guns operate on bloodline. Based off a sample size of one. Hello? Corral? Oh. Nikki? What the hell? Looks empty. Feels empty. Maybe they're hiding. Were there are always strange writings on the wall. I'm gonna try and get in her computer. See if I can wipe my criminal history. Rocket! I'm kidding. I'm gonna access her logs. You wanna know what happened here or not? Fine. The rest of us will take a look around. Maybe they left a clue or something. The scribbles are Cree. This one says... Mother knows best. Return. Hope. Promise. It's all over. It's not even on the freaking papers. Why is it on the windows? What did you use to write on the windows? A marker? Don't worry, Corral. I'll make sure this gets back to you. 
Like a centurion crest. Galactic War Commendation. Promise. Any luck getting in? The thing's pretty well protected. I need time. All right, let me know. Bring them back. Nikki! Obvious signs of a struggle, Peter Quill. Yeah, this doesn't look good. Ah, <sighs> oh, appealing. The plant? Plant smell? Maybe that's how that stuff spreads. Be careful. Anyone know what to make of this? Ooh. No, but it reeks of violence. Whatever happened to you just being literal all the time? I am capable of evolving. You should try it sometime. Blue blood. Do Cree people bleed blue? Are you seriously focused on food right now? Mystery makes me hungry. Hey, save me some, will ya? Well, we haven't eaten yet. Hey, there could be a struggle here, but then afterwards the people stayed behind to write all this crap on the ground. What the hell? This is a big office. Holy sleeps here too. Well, this is fancy. For valiant heroism against unrelenting tyranny. That's the highest commendation given out by the Kree. How come I never got one of these? I did heroic stuff. You're not a Kree. In Peter's eyes. Oh god. Oh god, Peter's eyes. That's a weird bug. Find anything, Gamora? What is this? Some kind of a threat? The Cree Council demands proof of Nikki's heritage under the Cree Purity Laws. What Cree Purity Laws? What? Corral never told you that either? The Cree are extremely strict about their bloodlines. Uh, this does not look good. For you? No, for Nikki. What are the chances the Cree are involved in any of this? The Council of Purity isn't cryptic. When they punish someone, they make sure everyone knows it. Corel and Nikki would be hanging from a wall. Upcoming accuser visit, Cree Purity Council. As you are all aware, the accuser will be making her diplomatic trip to Hala's Hope next cycle to discuss the Cree Council's involvement with reconstruction efforts. However, this is not her only business on the station. All Cree currently serving Nova Corps will be expected to meet with the accuser at the allotted time for your interrogation. You may be asked to provide records of family history and recent medical results. Not the ones provided by Nova Corps, but by a certified Cree physician from the Purity Council list. If you have children currently living with you, they may be interviewed as well. Failure to arrive for your appointment will not be tolerated. The accuser will be more than willing to locate you in your place of work and escort you to an interrogation room. Do be punctual. Purity Council. Cree can only have children with Cree. This must be Corel's first kid. I remember she talked about him a lot. He was on Hala, right? When the Shatari. Yeah. Her kid and her husband. Explains how fearless she was during the war. She had nothing to lose. Her husband's not here. Corel had a real artistic side to her. She was the only Cree I ever knew who painted and played music. I used to think it was a sign of weakness, but... No, it's a strength. Definitely a sign of strength. Sign of strength is you doing whatever you want without caring what other people think about it, Gamora. Who cares about dolls? It's okay. The resemblance is uncanny. She doesn't look anything like me. She's blue. Besides, why wouldn't Corel have just told me? Protect her daughter, Peter Quill. Copulating with you was a capital offense under the Cree purity laws. Oh, right. That. So when Corel said we shouldn't be doing this... He was being literal. <laughs> oh, I don't want a, a TMI, TMI. But is it okay to... copulate? It's just not okay to produce a child, right? You know, it's okay to... It's okay if you're being careful. Maybe. 
But there's so many species in the galaxy. How can they have these purity laws? That just seems so anti-galactic community. Is this Nikki's official room or oh the, the sun's room maybe? Oh wow! The Cree have comic books? I am surprised. The Cree Council is very strict on approved forms of entertainment. So this could be like super valuable then. How valuable are we talking? Forbidden comics. Nikki's ID. Something seems off though. What do you mean off? I don't know. Like it's been flagged or something. Not sure. Is the girl's date of birth on those documents? Does it match with the typical Cree gestation period? I really wouldn't know. It's Nikki's official okay, room. I'm in. But I got bad news, lover boy. What did you find? Come here and I'll show you. Flagged for not being pure, maybe? I wonder if Nikki made this. Yeah, 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 I just... Those colors kind of remind me of my bed sheets back when I was 13. I mean Peter, in his old house. That's it. Hmm... Some kind of dye machine. Is hair it normal dye? for Kree to dye their hair? Not unless they're hiding something. Oh, so that's not her normal hair color? Is that a bad thing though? I don't really know. Well, she has the blue skin, so she can pass for being a Cree, a full blooded Cree, even if she's not. <laughs> this room is so much cleaner. What's up, Rocket? Oh god, what? This is closed. So what am I looking at? Nothing. She's the captain. Captains keep logs. You keep logs? I I'm trying to tell you, they're gone. All of them. Almost like the world mind went out of its way to sever everything. Have you tried turning it off and on? What about backups? Doesn't every Nova ship have a central hub or something? A Nexus mainframe, yeah. If there's ghosts anywhere in the system, that's where. I categorically refuse. Not literal ghost, Drax. He's talking about data. Right? Yes, but we'd have to access the Nexus directly. Means going to the bridge. We're not leaving until we find out what happened. Center of operations it is. We can't leave anyway. According to the ship's map, the bridge should be right through here. But there's no bodies. There was one little spill of blood. One little spill. It could be much worse, but so far... Hey, this kind of looks like the... Oh god, no! Dog report item! It's one of them priests down there, ain't it? Okay, so it looks like the church is behind this. One of the... Oh! Oh, crap! Uh, nuts to this! I'm out of here! Stop moving! A warrior does not hesitate, Peter Quill. Okay, let's be careful. He says after you. Shh. Voice is down. He's suddenly playing Squid Game. D ah! Ruthless artificial being. Stagger and eliminate with prejudice. Beware lethal grapple. Promptly assist companions when needed. Exoskeletal alloy vulnerable to plasma. Okay, yep. Definitely a dog report item. Yeah, leverage environmental hazards when possible. Okay, got it, got it. Got it. I will end you! Of course I'm not gonna replace you with a robot! 
Is it me or are we barely denting this thing? It is as venerable as it is large. We must break it. No, I think we're doing a good bit of damage to it. Is this thing what made all those Nova Corps go crazy? Still seems like there's so much we don't know. We need to get to the Nexus. Artificial hey, being. Like a hot Sackle. knife. Destroy. Grab it, Paul Grove. On it. Oh, I hope that felt as bad oh. as it looked. It's weak to fire, but we don't have we don't have a fire thing. Group, so is this thing here to protect the servers then? I don't know. Everything about this is just getting more it, and more Peter. fucking weird. The enemy proves persistent. That's one big bad scutting robot. How do I help Gamora? We must take it out first. Die! Get back out there, Groot! Groot! Let's see that sword. You don't stand a chance. Just me, or this makes Raker's church seem way cooler. I do not find it particularly appealing. Feels like I've been shooting that big butt for hours. Yeah, shoot him in the butt. Oh! Sick, bro. Agree the you church is part of it. Clearly, but the question you remains: guys. How exactly? Ah! The mechanical beast is running out of limbs. We must tell the dog about the priest. Robot priest. It didn't have a Says face. Not answering. Keep trying. The rest of us can focus on figuring a way out. Really? This is the server room, right? And servers mean data? I can't just plug servers into my skull. I still need a central terminal. You said the bridge was on the other side of that corridor. So we just gotta make our way across and then up somehow. Okay, what's your plan, Peter? Groot, can you make so, a bridge? how do we get across? Peter's the one with the visor. Unless he broke it. I didn't break it. Ah. That'll do it. Well played, Peter Quill. How am I supposed to know why the pooch ain't picking up? Keep trying. Oh god. What was it doing here though? It's a server room. I have never understood how so much information can be stored in such a magical way. Okay, so according to the map I saw, Nexus should be just above us. Uh, shall I throw the rodent? No! Come on! <laughs> Alright, let's look around. Maybe we can find something. Perhaps we should have interrogated the robot priest. Oops! Yeah, next time we encounter a giant, deadly robot priest, we'll tie him up first and ask questions. Do you have rope? No. Well, then your plan is untenable. Something's going on here. Ah! Ah! What the hell? <laughs> Why did this randomly turn on? Is it timed? It's not on now. It's weird, right? How the world mind seems to have gone completely dark. Very weird. Perhaps it is rebooting. Of all the words you could have used there, Drax, that one actually wasn't too bad. Thank you. It was either that or reloading. That also isn't too bad. Yeah, I think we were meant to like time it properly, but I didn't feel like it. <laughs> Can I? Oh, I could have shot it from over here, maybe. Okay, but either way, that I don't think was it. Was it? This is the only circuitry-looking thing here. I have never understood how so much information could be stored in such a magical way. Mm hmm. There's an open panel up in the corner there. Pretty sure that's our exit. Perfect. So we just gotta jump across a few of these floaty server things? Seems, uh, perfectly safe. They contain near infinite stores of data. 
To think, all of this could have been avoided had the rodent not broken the glass. You're blaming him for that? His panicked scampering is what caused the final break. Your oversized gut is what caused the first 50 breaks! Guys! <laughs> pretty sure it was already cracked. Probably from that giant robot priest mutiny thing. Anyway, can't we just celebrate that we're back on track? I think? Yay. Good enough for me. Perhaps we should have interrogated the robot priest. Yeah, next time we encounter a giant, deadly robot priest, we'll tie him up first and ask questions. Yeah, hey, good idea, Rocket. Any luck getting through to Cosmo yet? I am good. Nope, still nothing. Reception will probably be better once we're on the bridge. Yeah, I don't think that's how it works. Why? <laughs> Just add a line of code. Okay, this is it, the command center. Which I guess makes that the Nexus control terminal. Fingers crossed we find something useful. I'm thinking you should do the honors, Quill. That does not seem like you. He probably thinks the Nexus is booby-trapped. Ah, uh, that would explain it. Hey, I ain't the one that's eager to know what happened. Let Quill see for himself. What do you think, Groot? <laughs> he says it's the best. What are we waiting for, Peter? Yeah, yeah, just psyching myself up. It just seems like a battle room, so I'm a little bit wary. Hmm. I wonder. 1969. I don't understand. Why is Peter Quill not accessing the Nexus? Because he's scared of ghosts. Liar. Another passcode. Cycle reminder is poor it. To do, finish report on explosion and docking, done. Schedule hazardous material crew, done. Review arrest reports, QZ ongoing. Cross-reference outstanding warrants. Meeting regarding upcoming millennium test for Denarian Yelok. 0663. Schedule Corman ballistics training. Believe in yourself, ongoing failing. <laughs> Don't forget to eat something. Hmm. Find something. Just some personal logs. Uh, Groot wants to know if Quill's stalling because of his fear of parental responsibility. Obviously. Clearly. No! Random Cree family? People who work here? Dog report item. We have reached the command center, but Peter Quill refuses to access the Nexus. I'm gathering passcodes. <laughs> nice. That's quite the mustache. Find something. So Corel's badge number is 0001. How could she be the first one? The oh, check out my. Reset all Nova IDs after the Galactic War. Rocket, just access it yourself. Mm -mm. Regular computers are one thing, but I ain't leaving my prints on no Nexus terminal. Did you see that sick reflection? Had my mask on, though. worried it'll prove they're dead. I really couldn't tell you. Golden Shadows, Centurion Carlos's next chapter in his little novel. Trying something a little different. Let me know what you think. Kalor made sure his office door was locked. He pulled the shades down on his viewport, sat at his desk and wondered just how true the story was. The client was pretty convincing, but most liars are. Still, there was something in it. He tapped his fingers on the case file, but didn't open it. He stood up and walked to the wash basin, looked at himself in the mirror, grimaced and turned away. She'd offered him too much money for too little a job, it didn't add up. Something about it gnawed at him. He hurried back to the file, turned on the light and looked over the pages carefully. There, indented on the back of the photo, a number. 0025. Combination maybe? Contact number? He ran out. If he hurried, he might be able to tell the client. See if that led anywhere. Have you found any useful information, Peter Quill? Uh, well, it's something. Dog report item. We have reached the command center, but Peter Quill refuses to access the Nexus. You added that one already. Hmm. Wonder what this does. Nothing useful is my guess. Nova Corps and their bloated administrative crap. Probably need a car just to use the bathroom. 
No, it does not sound like a good idea. People should be free to pee whenever and wherever they want. Ew! I told you he was a monster. <laughs> Rocket, just access it yourself. Mm -mm. Any chance we might need an access number? Maybe. Won't know till you try accessing the thing first. This one seems probable. Five, six, Maybe eight, three. Maybe he is worried it'll prove they're dead. I really couldn't tell you. Groot, you like the plant? Okay. Okay, Don't interesting. Okay, okay. We've reached the command center, but Peter Quill refuses to access the Nexus. This is the last one. I wonder though. Nikki really didn't want her mom to know about this pass key she gave me. No way is some kid's card gonna bypass the Nexus. We're in. You're kidding. What? Yes! Guys, we're in! Well, I didn't even What did I do all that for then? <laughs> Go to the wow. criminal records, Quill. I want to see my files. Get to the juicy stuff already. Channeling your Nova Force. A, a comprehensive guide to meditation and managing your mental health. Actually, I wouldn't mind a copy of that. Pass. Let me get this straight. She became a teapot? That's what my source said. <laughs> Amazing. I hate you all. Wait, is that related to Gamora? Well, that don't sound good. The audio file must be corrupted. The audio file and everything else in the galaxy. Kind of like our transmission. Prisoner processing. Attention, away team. Please ensure your helmet cams are in full operation ahead of this afternoon's away mission into the quarantine zone. Just like Corel, everything by the book. Yeah. Hmm. Personnel files? It's a list of bucket ads. Uh, we already know your girlfriend works here, Quill. So, it might have useful info or something. Corel, Centurion, Richard Ryder, recruited her. Status unknown. Origin, Krelar. Posting, Hala's Hope. Role, Captain. Centurion Corel joined the Nova Corps after the Galactic War. Her previous experience in the Kree Imperial Army was a beneficial gain to this organization. Her role during the Siege of Shatari Prime was instrumental to winning the Galactic War. In the time since, Corel has become instrumental to the rebuilding efforts across the galaxy. Notably, her involvement in the creation of the Quarantine Zone, a galactic dumping zone for galactic war technology. Oh, is that what that's supposed to be? Oh, no wonder everyone's trying to go there. Addendum. Centurion has requested a permanent assignment to the quarantine zone in the Andromeda star system. Notes: It's been one cycle since Centurion, Corel, and the crew of the Hallas Hope have checked in with a world mine. Further monitoring will be required. Commendations, Kree Imperial Army Cross, Galactic War Commendation. One cycle. This has been going on for one cycle. Agent of Thanos? Gamora, care to explain? Not really. Except that it wasn't me. Malik Tarsel? Another Centurion. Deceased. Posting at High Council Chandelar, a diplomat. Centurion Malik Tarsal was an accomplished diplomat assigned to Chandelar, the throne world of the Shi'ar Empire. After the collapse of the Kree Empire during the Galactic War, Tarsal was able to broker a tenuous alliance with the Majestrix Lilandra, who saw an opportunity to expand her empire. Shortly after, an agent of Thanos attempted to assassinate both Tarsal and Lilandra, and it's not Gamora. Tarsel didn't survive the encounter. Afterward, the Majestrix rejected the alliance. A memorial has been erected on New Xandar, commemorating those who sacrificed their lives for the greater good of the galaxy. Blue Star Commendation, posthumously. Galactic Medal of Valor, posthumously. Check it out. Nikki's got a file. Boring. Redacted Origin. Recruited by Corel. Status unknown. Nicolet Gold, aka Nikki, a cadet in training and child of Centurion Corel, her father remains unknown. Despite a few demerits on her record, no doubt a result of her mother being her commanding officer. <laughs> Gold shows great promise and will likely have a successful career in the Nova Corps. Her name is very, like, Terran. It's been one cycle since she checked in. I have heard of this one. He was a good man. Except good means scut when you're dead. Roman Day. Prime Commandant. 
recruited by the world mind deceased, came from Xandar? Roman Day graduated top of his class from the Nova Academy. He quickly rose in rank, attracting the attention of the world mind. As prime commandant, Day oversaw the day-to-day -day operations haha, of the Nova Corps Space Militia and Exploration Divisions, respectively. This included overseeing Nova Prime. During the war, Day called upon the Zandarian Star Corps fleet to create a blockade against invading Shatori forces. This blockade was instrumental to the evacuation of Xandar. Only one squadron would survive this encounter. Currently MIA and presumed dead. A memorial created on New Xandar? Lots of uh, commendations. Hey, Wall. Then who is running Nova Corps? That's a good question. Okay, so Gamora just left. It's not like they disbanded. Okay, Richard Ryder. Rank Prime, recruited by Worldmind, AWOL. Earth. Posted at New Xandar, assignment unknown. Maybe he's the new bad guy now. Richard Ryder, aka Nova Prime, is a former acting leader of the Nova Corps. He was selected by the Worldmind after his squadron was the only one to survive the destruction of Xandar. His leadership during the Galactic War led to several victories, notably the final siege of Shatari Prime. Post war, Ryder took a more political role in Galactic affairs. His primary focus was the rebuilding of the Nova Corps Space Militia and Exploration Division with the help of member worlds. He has been absent without leave for multiple rotations. The world mind has lost all contact with him. Further action may be required. Yeah, so this he's probably still alive somewhere. She crashed into a Leviathan on purpose and is still a better pilot than Quill. Hey, what? You know it's true. Deceased. Denarian Samaya. She's a pilot. Denarian Samaya. Wait, what? Oh, okay. I thought that was like a first name or something. No, it's her rank. Denarian Samaya was a member of the Star Corps fleet that created the blockade around Xandar. In a last ditch effort to buy Xandar time, Samaya led a squadron of Star Corps fighters on a collision course toward the Shatari Leviathans. She did not survive the encounter. She has a memorial and a posthumous Galactic Medal of Valor. People who were instrumental in the war. This list here. <laughs> 20 units, mine's the biggest. They can't be that scary if they share a record. <laughs> Garrick and Rossum Blood. Oh, their actual last name is Blood. Continental Threat. In custody. No, they're not. Indictments, intimidation, assault, extortion, torture, murder, crimes of war. The Blood Brothers are twin rocklets, rocklites, known for the war crimes they committed on behalf of Thanos during the Galactic War. Both were sentenced to 44 life sentences in the maximum security penal facility, known as the Kiln. However, shortly after their incarceration, the Blood Brothers escaped and joined a terrorist organization known as the Lethal Legion. Due to their violent tendencies and unique physiological bond, the world might recommends containment in separate facilities. Attending officers should approach with extreme caution. <laughs> but they've been hired by Lady Hellbender. And then them too. They are currently in custody by the Nowhere Security Corps. Ah, because Cosmo has them now. Cosmo insists that the matter does not require intervention at this point. Affiliations, Thanos, Lethal Legion, Lady Hellbender. Wow, she's really serious about wanting to get us then. I've heard of this guy. He's part of a private army called the Lethal Legion. <laughs> More like the Loser Legion. Yeah, so it's same as the, the Blood Brothers. Glari. Wanted? From Krilar? Is that the same place as Corel? Oh my god, that's a long list of stuff. Animal cruelty! This guy deserves death. Glari, aka Captain Glory, is a leader of the Lethal Legion, a terrorist organization masquerading as mercenaries for hire. Glari, a decorated soldier, defected from the Imperial Kree army during the war. He should be considered dangerous. Therefore, World Mind recommends Nova Corps forces exercise extreme caution against during engagement. Recently hired by Lady Hellbender. What is it with you, Humies, and your stupid names? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Star Lord is not in the same league as Dark Hawk, okay? One's the name of the greatest band of all time, and the other's a bird. Christopher Powell. Planetary threat, Dark Hawk. Eh, not so bad. At least he doesn't torture animals. He is an enhanced human and member of the Shi'ar Empire's banished fraternity of raptors. Similar in design to the Nova Force, Powell gains his enhanced abilities from the sentient raptor armor and data song contained with a, within a Shi'ar amulet. 
Due to the corrupted nature of the information stream known as Data Song, the world might recommend confiscation and destruction of all items containing this technology. Once separated from the Data Song and Raptor armor, the world mind feels Powell can be rehabilitated with a failure margin of 22%. Fraternity of Raptors, we talked about that with Cosmo, I think. It was one of the um, selections. They assassinated several people in the Shi'ar Empire. So, Drax's criminal record is pretty big. That is what your mother said. <laughs> it's great because his mother's dead. Oh my god. Planetary threat? Destroyer. Unpaid fine. Katath. Indictments, disturbing the peace, disorderly conduct, conspiracy, trespassing, intimidation, assault, extortion, tax evasion, arson, illegal scavenging, smuggling, hijacking, mayhem, vigilantism, torture, kidnapping, vehicular homicide, murder, mass murder, but no animal cruelty. Drax, aka Drax the Destroyer, is a decorated Catathian warrior, galactic war hero, and widower from the planet Catath. After his defeat of the Mad Titan Thanos, Drax went on a murderous rampage across the galaxy. Despite his crimes, the world mind recognizes Drax's contribution to the resistance during the Galactic War. Without his heroism, this organization would not stand today. Further, his self-surrender to the Nova Corps has established good faith. As such, the world mind agreed to reduce Drax's 100-year sentence for mass murder and various other charges in the maximum security penal facility known as a kiln. After seven years, he was released. Whoa! 100 to 7! Wow! Since his release, he's joined the Gardeners of the Galaxy, a supposed legitimate business enterprise founded by Peter Jason Quill. Further monitoring needed. <laughs> yeah, that's the official name. I thought there'd be more here. Barely scratches the surface. Zen Huberi Ben Titan Gamora. Galactic threat. Wow, you're an even bigger threat than Drax. Deadliest woman in the galaxy. Unpaid fine. Aiding and abetting, conspiracy, resisting arrest, flying without a license, theft, assault, armed robbery, smuggling, illegal scavenging, murder, crimes of war, but no animal cruelty. Adoptive child and former pet assassin of the Mad Titan Thanos. Her criminal involvement with the Chitauri has led to the generation of this file. Despite her war crimes, the world mind begrudgingly notes that without Gamora's defection to the resistance, the galactic war may not have been won. As such, under advice from Richard Ryder, amnesty has been granted. World Mind has refused participation from Gamora regarding post-war efforts related to the future of New Xandar and the Nova Corps as an organization. A priority zero flag has been placed on her file. Further monitoring needed. Attempts to surveil Gamora have been unsuccessful. I'm pretty sure every single person on our ship is being monitored right now, but Gamora has been evading it somehow, just like back on Nowhere. Addendum 2. Gamora joined Gardeners of the Galaxy. You know, for a non-spacefaring species, us humans sure get around. Unfortunately. Groot, unknown, unknown, no aliases, a fine. Petty theft, trespassing, intimidation, assault, resisting arrest, bribery, blackmail, extortion, illegal scavenging, smuggling, armed robbery, murder. The being only known as Groot is the last recorded member of the Flora Colossi. Yeah, yeah. Frequently seen in the company of Subject 89P13. That's Rocket, probably. Despite his association to Rocket, the world mind feels Groot can be rehabilitated with a failure margin of 0.423%. So that's a very low margin. Oh, they do want Groot to join the Nova Corps. Addendum 1. Report of stolen property was submitted by Tanelier Tivin regarding theft of a Flora Colossus. The world mind has chosen to disregard this report as it violates several galactic treaties. Addendum 2. Garners of the Galaxy. Arbor Masters, Bagoo, Bounty Hunters. <laughs> yeah, accidentally rolled over this one. Who is this? Heather Douglas. Galactic Threat, Moon Dragon, inactive from Earth. That's a pretty small rap sheet. Telepathic Assault, Removal of Bodily Autonomy, Traffic Violations, Powerful Telepath from Earth. The entity known as Dragon of the Moon has exerted influence over Douglas, corrupting her mental powers. Oh, okay. So there's a Dragon of the Moon, and she calls herself the Moon Dragon? That's confusing. 
Given Douglas's abilities, both telepathic and foreign, the world mind has placed a P1 flag on her file. Further investigation needed. However, containment is not possible without further resources. She was one of the three candidates prophesized by the priests of Pama to take the mantle of Celestial Madonna, which is now Mantis. World Mind feels that she can be rehabilitated with a failure margin of 46%. We don't know where she is. Hey, isn't that the guy we saw when we tried to pay our fine? Yeah, that's him. Jack Harrison, village threat level. In custody, is he? Still? Enhanced human and escaped convict from the planet Earth. It's believed Harrison's enhancements are the result of the Hyde formula, granting enhanced strength. He was arrested for impersonating a Nova Corps Centurion, resulting in the generation of this file. Since arrest, all communication with the Rock, the Nova facility where he's being held on, has been severed. And he's been <laughs> he's been pushed out the airlock, unfortunately. Well, there's so many here. Look. It's Jax's girlfriend. Lady Hellbender <laughs> is not my girlfriend. Yet. But you're her boyfriend. <laughs> Galactic Threat Monster Queen. Status immune. Pretty small list, all things considered. Little known about Lady Hellbender prior to the war. Only that attempts made by the Shatori forces to colonize Seknarf 9 ceased when she overthrew the planet's ruling priest class. She's not directly associated with the Resistance, but we noted that she, uh, she opposed the Shatari invasion and therefore deserves some credit, I guess. At this time, Seknarf 9 remains a non-member of the Nova Corps' intergalactic militia, despite recruitment efforts from the World Mine. It's worth noting that Hellbender's political status grants her certain immunities and protections under galactic treaty. She currently has a sanctuary for monstrous creatures from across the galaxy. This sanctuary has encouraged poaching, further monitoring needed. Uh-oh, Hellbender has recently placed a bounty on the Gardeners of the Galaxy and hired the Lethal Legion. Isn't this your friend from the bar? Yep. Storm Riders! Village threat level. Active. Lipless. The Rydoctilian? He's a well-known smuggler who frequents Mantlo's bar in the Nowhere Spaceport. He fled Malilia when Nova Corps agents raided illegal flop houses there and arrested their proprietors. He's remained inactive for several rotations following the arrests, only resurfacing recently with a new business partner, the notorious poacher Ruby Thursday. Her illegal outfit, the Headman, is reportedly operating out in the Andromeda system. Grand Unifier Raker. Wonder what he was looking for in the quarantine zone. Probably nothing good. Threat level none? Are you sure? Are you sure? In custody? Are you sure? Didn't kill anybody? Really? Indictments, disturbing the peace, trespassing, illegal scavenging, reckless endangerment. Raker, aka Grand Unifier, is a leader of the now defunct Uni Universal Church of Truth, a little known cult that rose to prominence during the war. Their figurehead, a supposed golden god with miraculous healing abilities, perished in the last year of the war. Since his death, the cult has fallen into obscurity. Now they're coming back, they're making a comeback. World Mind doesn't think it's a threat but they were- they try to go into the QZ, which is why this file was made. Read it and weep, losers. There ain't a single scam me and Groot haven't pulled off. You name it, we've done it. If you're charged, it means you've been caught. You realize that, right? Your point? <laughs> Continental threat from Half-World. Petty theft, cybercrime, forgery, fraud, blackmail, illegal scavenging, smuggling, mutiny, arson, armed robbery, murder, assault, resisting arrest, Disorderly conduct, petty theft, conspiracy, solicitation. Escaped biocybernetic experiment from the now abandoned Cree research facility on Half World. His origin before that is unknown. So was he like a non-talking normal raccoon then? Frequently seen in the company of Groot. History of violence, recommending all attending officers exercise extreme caution when engaging. A sweep for hidden explosives and traps is also prudent. Should charges be laid, the world mind prefers that he be incarcerated in the kiln. <laughs> well, maximum security prison, dude. He is part of the Gardeners of the Galaxy. Wow, when Kree cops go bad, they really go bad. Actually, an accuser is the equivalent of a judge, jury, and executioner. Was that the guy that Nikki drew? Planetary threat, Ronan the Accuser, from Hala. 
A member of the Kree aristocracy and former supreme accuser of the Kree Empire. After the war, he attempted to incite civil war on Kree Lar against the supreme intelligence. His efforts were thwarted, and his title stripped. He still has an admin position in the Kree Public Abuser Corps. He might be behind several corruption scandals in the Kree judicial and governmental bodies, but that hasn't been verified yet. Wow, your record's a lot bigger than I expected. How big were you expecting? Minuscule. <laughs> Village threat level, not too bad. Public intoxication, public indecency, petty theft, bribery, blackmail, extortion, reckless flying, illegal scavenging, smuggling, hijacking, armed robbery, kidnapping, murder. Human Spartoi hybrid and former crown prince of the Spartoi Empire. Okay, I'm not even the prince anymore. I'm not in line. Quill's involvement with the Ravager space pirates have resulted in the generation of this file. Despite Quill's predilection toward crime, Worldmind acknowledges his contributions to the resistance during the war, notably during the Battle of Mercury in the Soul System. As such, Worldmind feels that Quill can be rehabilitated with a failure margin of 32%. They calculate everything! What do you mean rehabilitated? I don't want to join Nova Corps. Addendum 1, Quill agreed to testify against Yondu Udanta and the Ravager Space Pirates regarding their involvement in the kidnapping of the child known as Idera's Sacred Heart. In doing so, he was granted immunity and charges have been dropped against him. Oh, so it's kind of like, why Yondu Udanta would think that I betrayed him? He is a Gardener of the Galaxy. The intention and legitimacy of this enterprise, which bears no relation to botany, remains dubious. <laughs> Needs more... monitoring. Another guy from Earth. I'm telling you, Quill, C-53 is the trailer park of the galaxy. <laughs> Earth? Planetary threat. Wendell Vaughn. AKA Quasar is an enhanced human augmented with the quantum bands, a powerful device created by the abstract entity known only as Eon. He was using the bands near population centers. He was an important asset to the resistance during the war, and because of that, the world mind has determined that he is a prime candidate for the Nova Corps. A recruitment package has been dispatched to his last known location. Okay. Fun fact that bounty Yondu put out is how me and Groot met Quill. I'm just glad I talked you out of collecting it. <laughs> Who says you did? Yondu Danta is a Kree. He's blue. Incarcerated. Yondu Danta, former leader of the Ravager Space Pirates, is presently incarcerated at the maximum security penal facility, Kiln. He has tried to escape and failed five times. He has numerous crimes, but... He... Oh, the involvement in... Kidnapping the kid known as Idera's Sacred Heart is what led to the generation of this file. Without the assistance of his former associate Peter Quill, he probably wouldn't have been charged. Yeah, I did betray him then. I basically did. Given Udanta's dedication to the criminal enterprise, including during the war, the world mind feels that rehabilitation is not possible. Permanent incarceration is recommended. And he has placed a bounty on Peter Quill. Oh no. Oh. I am unfamiliar with this Kree. One of the nameless. Oh, spooky. He looks like a Final Fantasy character. Look at the hair. Zakdel, Galactic Threat, Wraith. Active. Member of the Nameless, a subspecies of Kree who have bonded with the Exelon. I don't know what that means. This bond has granted Zakdel certain enhanced abilities, given his relationship with the Exon symbiote. The world mind has determined Zakdel to be a potential threat. The Kree Empire has requested assistance in apprehending and containing Zakdel for crimes of vigilantism. The world mind has determined that additional support cannot be rendered at this time. Okay. Okay, that was a lot of freaking. Oh! What are we looking for here? Alright, let's take a look. Oh god. Wow, super riveting, Quill. And to think we could still be reading my criminal record. Please do not. I was wondering how they knew about us. Quill must have tripped the sensors on the way out. This is where they put all the stuff from the war. No wonder there's so much trash there. Good trash. Isn't that the mining rig from the quarantine zone? Oh, great. Looks like your girlfriend was collecting evidence against us even after the two of you struck a deal. 
I still do not understand how the Churchman's ship exploded. The Nova Corps is known for their security protocols. It's called stupidity, Drax. Something the Buckethead's got a lot of. Okay. Gotta be something in here. QZ mission. HC2. Hey, isn't that... The mining ship we explored in the quarantine zone, yeah. That weird what monster. Signal stronger. We must be close. How close? Hard to say. There's too much interference. Centurion Corral. Found something. Oh, is it a yellow seed? Hey, what are you Watch out! Fire! Oh! Run! She went in after we left. Oh, Flark. That thing. You don't think. It is the creature that devoured our monster. <laughs> Could have been a million things. I mean, it's restricted space for a reason. I am cool. No, you're a lotus scud. That thing's got nothing to do with us. We should, yeah, we should say something now. The yellow gem. That gem Corral picked up. I think it's the same one we shot in the quarantine zone. Uh, we? You're the one who shot it. Fine, the gem I shot. The point is, is that shadow thing came out of it. We did this. The quarantine zone's a giant death trap. So we released a shadow thing. We made it out, didn't we? Your stupid girlfriend probably did too. You've been saying the whole time she's probably dead. Eh, probably alive, probably dead, whatever. Important thing is, we're all fine. Corel is tough. If anyone made it out, it's her. I know it. He's a war hero. Hmm. Nothing. Whoa! Guardians of the galaxy. You misread our intentions. No, you've made them pretty clear. Sometimes sacrifices <laughs> must... I had to check. Groot, ride the stars. Grand Unifier. Breaker. Right? First, let me just say it's really cool that you've heard of us, right, guys? And it's cool that you didn't try to kill us just then, especially with your two pals right there. You could have totally ripped us apart the moment you walked in, which we obviously all appreciate. But also... We've kind of got a few questions, like... Where are Centurion Corel and her daughter? Oh! You came here seeking truth. Rejoice. The Matriarch wishes to share it with you. Oh my god. That is really not cool. What do you mean he's not picking up? Come! The matriarch awaits. Is that the name of the ship? <laughs> 